All right, we're here at the King of Two Mile with Kelly McMillan, McMillan Stocks, and I want to talk to Kelly about ELR shooting. It's become very popular. Uh, McMillan's uh, at the forefront of what's going on in the ELR community right now, so I want to get Kelly's take on how they see the community moving towards shooting at extended long ranges. Well, thanks for having me on, uh, Frank. Uh, really glad to be here. Um, this King of the Two Mile is really exciting. It's something that we've been working hard at for the last year. We participated last year. We got some ideas of some of the things that we felt we could do to help further the sport, come out with a new stock specifically for this game. Um, and the nice thing about this stock is it'll take any action up to two inches in diameter. So if you want to put a 50 cal action in it, you could do that. If you want to shoot just a regular inch 450 in it, you can do that as well. And we've worked out a way to make everything work so it, it has good balance, stiffness, uh, and it gives a little longer fore end so that these guys can put these 38 inch barrels on there, which is really the key to having a whole system that works together. Uh, you know, McMillan's been on the cutting edge of almost any type of competitive sport. Uh, I've been doing a, a lot of work with F-Class in the last couple of years, and we've really made some big inroads into uh, providing platforms for both Open and FTR that are specifically designed for their sport. And the majority of the guys who are switching over to the, uh, the Exit, especially, that's the FTR version, um, are finding that their scores are going up. So it means that we've done something right, and, and that's really gratifying to know that when shooters get a hold of your products, they become better shooters, and, and it, it helps the sport. Um, long range, I think, you know, one of the things that we're, McMillan has been known for is, you know, my father was known as the, the father of the modern sniper rifle. You know, he started building sniper rifles for the Marine Corps, um, the, the Navy Special Forces back in the 80s. And it kind of changed the way they looked at calibers and how they looked at firearms. And uh, so we've always felt like we've been on the cutting edge of giving our soldiers the very best equipment that we could get. And as a result, this and, and helping it extend ranges that we feel comfortable shooting out to is going to do the same thing. It's just going to extend their range. We're going to share all the information that we learn here at the King of Two Mile and any of the other two mile shoots that we attend. And eventually, they'll use this technology to be able to stretch out. As you know, there's been a new uh, record uh, for the longest confirmed kill in combat. Um, out over two miles, and, and that's technology that's starting to come around just based on some of the stuff that we've learned in the last few years of trying to do this ELR. Definitely. I appreciate your take on it, and, and thanks for uh, taking time to talk to us. Thanks, Frank. Thank you. Great.